what is the best empty for you in your translation workflow? Well, the way we are used as freelancers or sometimes even small LSPs of tackling the answer to that question uh, is a bit trial and error. We would be trying something, maybe uploading a few uh, sentences on the web uh, interface that they offer, or maybe we have a friend or a colleague that is using an MT and that person is translating in the same language pair as we are and we see it's working well. So maybe we want to give that a try. And then once we subscribe to something, well, then we are stuck with that subscription. And maybe if we then try to translate in a second language pair or if we try to translate in a different domain as, as we were translating previously, well, then we may not get the best results we want. And that's where uh, the need of using something like the Intento platform comes in because it, it will allow you to really compare and see what works best for you for a specific project. And you can do that in just a few clicks and, and save a lot of time and efforts when you will be editing your empty output then. And it is relevant uh, because, I mean, the first package that they have starts at $8.99 per month, which is cheap. And then on top of that, you just add the mileage or whatever you're translating, or you can import uh, the subscriptions to MTs that you already have. So it is uh, very flexible and it is affordable. So in this video, I will explain to you and show you how this works, how you can plug that in into your CAD tools, and it makes sense. So let me show you. Okay, so let's get started with uh, comparing our first file. Uh, so it is very easy. We get into the uh, console uh, at Intento on the web, and we select web tools. So I just dragged and dropped it here. So now I have it with everything that I need to know. And now I need to select language pair. So I'm starting with English. So let's select English. Okay. And I need to select a target language, of course. So I will put French. There we go. And now I will have listed all the empty providers that are available for that language pair, English to French. So you see that there is a wide variety. There is plenty of choice. So let's say I want to compare DPL V2, so the second version. Um, I want to see what the Google V3 uh, gives. So let's see that output. And maybe something, let's say, oh, I've never tried the Pro MT Cloud API. All right, I want to see what that does. And uh, so I have already three, but you can add ma many more. So now that it's ready, I click on translate. And what happens is you will see at the bottom here, your job history, and they will uh, be populated as they go. Okay, so when they're all done, they're available here, and I just click on download. Okay, and when I'm ready to uh, download the file, you can see that each time I will download the file, it will put in the name of the file the the empty that has been used uh, to translate that file. So here, pro empty. So once you have your files ready, you can uh, compare them, open them, uh, look at what's inside them, and compare the quality of uh, the empty results. You can also uh, put them all into, uh, for example, uh, Microsoft Excel so that you can compare. For example, in that uh, pros thread, I have added here an example of that, uh, which I did. So I put the source here and I compared many empty engines, uh, so you can compare segment by segment uh, the, the, the style and, and how it works and uh, how correct uh, the empty output is. So that is a very useful process because that helps you decide what is best for you. And it doesn't take a long time. You just take a few examples of what you will be translating, you fit them in there and you get the results. Now, you may be thinking, well, but 
uh, if I already have subscribed to DeepL or Modern MT or whichever account, uh, what should I do now? And that, that's not a problem. You can bring that over. Um, for example, if I scroll down here in connected accounts and I have DeepL here and you can just add your own account, click on connect your own account, you put your credentials there and that's it. So each time you will be using uh, DeepL this way, you won't be charged uh, anything else for that because you already have an account with DeepL. So that is uh, very handy. Let's now go deeper into what Intento can do for you and we will also look at the speed that it can uh, work at and that can be very useful. So let's start uh, first at looking at the pricing plans. Okay, so they have basically three price plans that can be interesting for uh, uh, freelancers or uh, LSPs. So they have a professional plan, like I said uh, at the beginning at eight dollars uh, and 99 cents and then uh, whichever MT you will be using you will be charged at the rate of that MT for the number of characters that you will be translating so that is very good then you've got the expert plan at 49 uh, USD and uh, the business plan at 375 USD so to give a very summarized idea of what are the differences between these uh, with the pro plan uh, you, you can start with switching MTs testing MTs like uh, with it and you get the speed of 2000 words per minute especially when you are connecting a dedicated connector with the expert plan you get uh, the what's in the above plan plus you can connect some custom models and you can use custom glossaries for your needs and now the business plan well that is a business plan so then you get a special dedicated team space you get extra tools that are specific for your workflows for your empties for connecting uh, special empties that you have trained somewhere else uh, things like this and you get the mad speed of 40,000 words per minute. So that is massive. So now let's look at um, my speed test. So I did a comparison uh, speed test. I wanted to see uh, how uh, this behaves in uh, different scenarios. So first I tried in the web tools. So the same platform as uh, I, uh, we've used before for comparing. So in this, you can upload a uh, next lift. So I did that. I got the next lift uh, that was made in SmartCat. And in, in all instances of the test, you will see I used uh, the Microsoft Translator API, so we can have a comparison uh, by apples to apples. In the SmartCat XLIF file, we have a, a, a segmentation rule that got us a, by, a bit above uh, 2,000 segments. And that was the slowest time, 27 minutes. So, and then if you look at uh, uh, this grid, so you can see uh, then that I did that with the SDL dedicated connector, then with the WordFast Anywhere dedicated connector, and then uh, in WordFast Anywhere again, but then with the dedicated Microsoft connector. So I didn't use Intento. So let's look at the, the, the results that uh, this gives. So we can see here that the slowest was on the web tools platform that got us 27 minutes for uh, this uh, 2000 segments or uh, 10,000 words file. Then uh, doing that in the Microsoft Translator without using Intento, we are doing 20 minutes. And then using a dedicated uh, connector using Intento in SDL, that's where we start to see things really speeding up. Uh, we did 14 minutes in SDL. And then in WordFast Anywhere, that's our winner, uh, we did 12 minutes. And that is with the speed that is afforded by the pro plan, which is the entry plan. Now, if we were to use the business plan with the same methodology, we would have that file translated in under a minute. That's what you see here in um, orange and yellow. So 
that that is super fast so how do they do it to have that kind of speed well basically they take your uh, data they split it they send it in chunks to the provider and then whatever chunks comes back translated first then they use that to recompose the data here in green and then they feed it back to you so that helps speed up the process so let's look at how this feels uh, when we are using it inside our winner of the speed test uh, which is wordfast anywhere so when you get into setup you get into your mts and you can uh, click on add and you will be able to add uh, the intent to empty from uh, this drop down menu and then every time you want to change your empty super easy you get in there into intento you click on edit and once you are here uh, you just select the language pair that you want to be working in and you click here and you have your drop down here you can select any machine translation you want to be able to proceed with your work then if you start a pre-translation to translate the whole file, you will be able to leverage the super high speeds. But if you decide to work segment by segment and editing segment by segment, you will be uh, with normal speeds. But you don't need super high speeds for that because it feels the same. But if you are pre-translating a file, that's how you get uh, very high speeds. And this is how this will look in uh, SDL Trados. So uh, when you are here in your uh, project settings you can uh, select here the intento special connector so that's a plugin and you click on settings so this is how it looks very easy uh, we want to change the empty click on change empty settings and here we get access to our drop down and we can select any empty we want for the language pair we have selected of course we get many more options which I'm not diving into in this video you can use custom models you can uh, use smart uh, processes that uh, Intento uh, allows you to use so that uh, the best MT will be chosen for your selected uh, workflow etc so uh, you can do a ton of things but basically this is uh, how easy it is and it's very good I think so we covered the basics and you can see how easy it is uh, to compare MTs and how much it makes sense uh, to use something like this to make sure for every job that you will be uh, starting, you will get the best MT leverage uh, that you can for your workflow. So that is very interesting. If you're interested about acquiring uh, Intento MT subscription or trying it out, uh, you can use the link I have uh, placed for you in the video description that will take you there and uh, help you to find uh, the plan that is for you. And to be honest, there is not much uh, content on YouTube talking about that type of things at the moment. So I think it makes sense that you consider subscribing uh, to uh, my channel because in this way you will be able to get that type of information and um, that will help me out too. So make sure you leave a like and you share that and I'll be talking to you in the next one. Bye.